halfway between turning his back. Bacconi's corner is screaming it for him to finish the fight, and he does. The referee has seen enough. Teasdale looking to pounce. Hey, and and then stand in the pocket, not overcommitting, and he's landing him. some big shots. Williams Referee's looking out. Close. This could be over, and it is. A Very quick strict. stoppage here at FCC 12. Sean Teasdale evens out his record. Beautiful body shot again from the man from Apex MMA. The referee just warning there about grabbing the shorts. Final 10 seconds of the first round. Oh, jumps down for a guillotine. And, it's and there's the submission. Lightning flash. Wow. Let's see if we can't get a fit. Oh, oh beautiful. Right hand. Took the legs out from underneath. Nichols. Danny Dutch pouncing. Oh, and another big here. right. Two, three, four, five. Big. We're Check getting the to right the point. Hands. The referees. Nichols. Surely he's finished here. The referee oh. taking a big and look. The referee has stopped. Uh, I don't know if the referee stopped the fight or we reached the end of the round. <laughs> Full mount. Posturing up, landing some big shots. Cairns turning his back like he's got somewhere else to be. He probably has. Uh, to, but to be fair, there's not many, only a few are getting through. Referee stopped it, but not a lot was getting through, just sheer volume and aggression. Number one contenders match here for the FCC Amateur Welterweight Championship. The winner of this fight will go on to face the winner of our title about later tonight between Chris Senior, the defending champ, and Andreas Trichomitis. And both these men starting off hard and fast here in the first round. Three three-minute frames to play, if it's needed. With the unanimous decision, your winner, Red Marquez. Stalking his man here is Brent Tierney. <laughs> Tierney, you have to believe, is significantly behind on the score because after the first round, chopping leg kicks into Omar Frederick, though, trying to cut him down. You know, I, you know I, I, I might be wrong, but it looks like the cardio is already an issue here. A big head kick. Down he went, but I, I think Omar's running a little low on gas on the moment. Needs to get a second win. Frederick wins. He looks, he's not looking good. He looks like he can't. Rep it's uh, over. He's called it. Referee Dean Lewis called it. And we're gonna see some big bombs flying. Even the jabs from these guys, <laughs> absolutely oh. huge. Nice one from head. Wadsworth. Oh, Wadsworth landing. Kenny firing back, and it's a shootout. Wadsworth landing the left hand. Big body kick. And oh. Kenny coming back with the jabs. Oh, beautiful More jab. punches from Wadsworth. Oh, oh the huge oh my God. God. He, he, is out. he is out. What a finish. Sean the great man Kenny absolutely destroying Paul Wadsworth with two huge shots and a hammer fist from hell. Oh, Senior though looking for a triangle here. Trichomite is backing oh. up at the guard. Landing a couple of big punches. He's going to be wearing oh, the he's armor. Got the arm. That's it tight. Trichomite steps over. This is tight. Chris Senior trying and to And he's it. got it! He's and got it! And there's the submission! What a phenomenal sub by Chris Senior! Chris Senior submits the judo kid, Andreas Trichomitis. Be a fast and furiously paced. Oh! Caught the leg kick, following it up with a right hand that drops Shink almost straight away. Shink battles back up to his feet. Huge oh, uppercut from uppercut. Shink. Shing just panning away from top position. Robinson defending. The shots are really coming in here. Robinson turning his back slightly, trying to stay on his hip. Looking for the arm trial here. here. John Shing, the cage though, going to make that very, very difficult from this position. Final 10 seconds of round number four. And Shing finishing strong here. 
The referee asking Aaron Robinson to do something, which he does. And he does. And as a part of our rounds, we go all of our judges this evening. With a unanimous decision, your winner and new FCC amateur, lightweight champion, Sean This is tight, and there's the submission. Kenneth Richardson taps out the Wonder Boy. Steve Webster shoots straight Absolutely. from the bell, and Jai Herbert is going to look to pump that right knee straight up the middle. Which is oh, the beautiful combination! Unbelievable! Right, followed by a left cross, I think. Gorgeous. Well, I mean, he's scrambling again. Oh, I think this one's close to done. This could be all over. Dean Way taking a close look. Oh, one. Jay Herbert makes a pro debut to remember. Absolutely phenomenal finish. Some of the sharpest striking I've seen on FCC. So powerful, so clean, such technique. And Jay Herbert, what a debut in the pro ranks. What the guys are 155 pounds. This is going to be someone you've got to look out for. And he's got some skills in his arsenal. Absolutely. I think a lot of people thought that was some kind of crazy mismatch. It wasn't. It was just a unit. landed a, a big KO shot. But it's Adam right now doing right. some huge and damage. He's, he's Sean Hampton. Busted the champion open good and proper. And now he's taking his time throwing in shots. That eye is closed. Referee is looking. The referee's taking a close look at this. This, is, this isn't going to go on too huge, much longer. shots. Hampton. Trying to turn his way out. That eye's Looking almost for some closed up. Right here. He's going to work oh. the arm, but Hampton gets top position what, again. What hard by Hampton. He's taken a real. That eye is a mess. Yeah. As yeah. right again looks to try and turn him out. Oh. He's given the back. And he's got Sean the rear Hampton naked in. Back. And it's tight. It's there's, tight. It's there's a big squeeze. And there's oh the submission. My God. Sean Hampton with a phenomenal what comeback. A phenomenal. Unbelievable! Sean Hampton goes through hell and back to get the rear naked choke. What a phenomenally tough performance. Reese needs to target these very carefully. If Reese were to lose another point for an accidental blow to the back of the head, be a long that way to would come be devastating. Back. The man from Team Monkey MMA Academy under the tutelage of Ozzy Hollock, picking his shots firmly in control. At this juncture, the crowd here just... And the referee is calling it off. Neil Hall calls it. Ian Williams looks frustrated, but Neil Hall had asked for a response. He'd asked for Williams to do something. Williams' reply was not enough for Neil Hall. And the referee calls the fight. Williams looking frustrated. Aaron Abbey, though arcing those big elbows down trying to posture up now get some real leverage for the elbows oh that's a that's huge aim yeah, that's, that, that's something that that's gonna pop if it gets hit again hey? oh my goodness I, i've never seen a hematoma that big that fast i don't know we can go back to the beginning of the night but good lord i mean that came sudden that's a big elbow did that aaron abbey piling on the pressure here not massively powerful shots, but so many of them did and covering and, up. And it's all over. Referee Dean Weir has seen enough. And Ben Dearden, all the heart, all the grit, hung in there through that beating. Aaron Abbey dropping elbows for fun. It's oh, and again! And he puts Steve down! At the leaf! Going all in early. And he's landing. Huge punches. He's landing. No, 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 no. Beautiful reversal. And the referee almost stepped in there. Neil Hall are close to stopping that one. At the leave, looking to scramble back to his feet. This is where he's going to struggle against Nightingale. The size disadvantage he's got is going to be a nightmare against the nightmare on the map. And, and, and you know, this is such an important fight for, for Stay. You know, he, he stated that how much he's missed competing and how much the, the, the injuries have set him back. 
he's he's gonna come in here hungry and I think I think now it's time for him to just collect himself as he's doing and Leaf's still fighting his way back up blasting nice again with leg kicks and now turning into top position he's got to be careful of the arm though Nightingale looking to try him, tie him up here, Steve. It looks like, uh, it looks like he's looking, for, working for the arm. This is a dangerous position for the Frenchman. Nightingale trying to yank that arm out. Leaf trying to compress himself and come out the back door. But if Leaf lets go of this to pull out, he's going to put himself in an armbar in effect. A dangerous position here for the Frenchman, Nightingale trying to crank that arm. Just, and Nightingale just taking the time, slowly cooking it. You can Leaf's see. Uh, Leaf's elbow slid out. He should be okay now. Nightingale not oh. going to have the fulcrum. But no, he he's does, got the tap. And he gets the submission. Unbelievable. After a little bit of adversity, Steve Nightingale, nightmare. Oh my God. What a comeback. It's not just the threat of submission, it's the riding on the yeah. back, carrying your opponent's weight, tiring him out, grinding away on him. Both men look to be in pretty tip-top shape though, good condition on both Ventry and Crawley. And just still working, working to try and slip that. Nice elbow from Adam Ventry the there. Oh, Snaking that rear naked choke in. If it's not Ventry going for the big squeeze. This and could be it, it's over the jaw. Ventry lets it go. Hops for some ground and pound instead. Gonna try and reapply that choke. He's got the body triangle in. Snaking the left arm under this time. Trying to clamp it on. I can't see if it's under the throat or not. Either way, Ventry switches to the short choke. And there's the submission. Sweet revenge for Adam Ventry. Went for the rear naked. Inman really trying to get some oh. over those legs. And there's the triangle. Matt Inman throws up the triangle choke. Hey, my guy trying to powerbomb his way out. Inman clamping down. He needs to pull the arm of Hey, my guy across the throat. Pull down on the back of the head. This is tight. But this could be it. it. And there's the submission. And that's what Matt Inman does, as you described so well. He stays busy off his back. He works, he works, he works. And they're a beautiful triangle finish. Arguably in a fight that he hadn't won around in. Steve, one word to describe that finish. Perseverance. I don't think you can get any better than that. Pimlet now looking to take the back. He's got, He's got both hooks both. in. This could be a dangerous position for Kevin Pecci. Pesci looking to turn out. Ah. Pimlet switches to the body triangle. And he makes that look easy, that transition. Oh, he does have the front. Switches it's to the under the chin. Chin. It's there's over. The big squeeze. And that's Paddy. What Paddy does so, so well. And there's the submission. Paddy, the Paddy Pimlet wins the European featherweight title on full contact contender. Celebrating with a very proud Papa there in the crowd here and, in Bolton. And why not? Because he didn't have it all his own way in the first. You know, he was made to work. And then he does what Paddy Pimlet does best as one of the best submission grapplers in the UK.